Jesus and help us. That's help. That's help me answer the one answer question. Are uh, working on this. So we will soon come up with one of these answers. What are the answers? They were lizards that ruled the reptiles for 160 million years. They became extinct 65 million years ago. The, all, the ferocious, biggest, meanest, largest, powerfulest of all of them the Spinosaurus. Dinosaur means terrible or powerful lizards. Dinosaurs weren't lizards at all, they were reptiles. The reptiles are closely related to, um, to lizards and amphibians. Lizards and amphibians were closely related to reptiles. So that's one reason they could the meaning like that. Now we're going to see what saurus means. Saurus means lizard. Dinosaurs weren't lizards, which I already told you. But the half lizard and amphibians and half reptiles. Dinos means fearfully great or terrible lizard. No, I don't think they'll be fearfully great to be fearfully great. What was the biggest dinosaur? No, there are quite a few biggest dinosaurs. But well, I'll choose Mamakiosaurus. How can I just see from the other Now, Mamakiosaurus may not only be one of the biggest, maybe some others. Now, it, it is quite long. If you see that, it's quite spectacular. T Rex had 60 teeth and 1.5 inches. They were curved to prevent prey escaping. Its teeth were extremely strong. Whenever you lose it, it came back. The problem is with T Rex is T Rex is choking on eating, never stop eating. There were so many T Rexes in this world. Everything would be eating up. There wouldn't be much for any of the dinosaurs. That's the problem with T Rex. The only thing, the only thing is, which is unfortunate with the T Rex, is the other big animals such as Spinosaurus, Giantosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, and one wider, and like Baryonyx. Then you think about what time, at what angle, at what, and how to get it, how to do them things. They always think about it before they do anything. The T-Rex didn't normally do that. It's too keen on anything. Spinosaurus is the powerfulest. Why is this and why is this the biggest? It's, it always thinks about which, what you should do. Is it, is it trying to go there? It then thinks that might harm me. There are no fine dinosaurs, so I would say no. There were a different type called pedrosaurs. Was able to fly, swim, and walk. So that's very lucky. But well, people get people get confused when <coughs> some scientists just say type of dinosaur called pterosaur, but they just say that make it less confusing. They're flying reptiles. A re a flying reptile mm. is called a pterosaur. A flying reptile that lived in the past with the mm. dinosaurs are called the pedrosaurs. What color are dinosaurs? Okay, what color are dinosaurs? No one actually knows. So that's the basic thing. How does it do that? One of the unsolved questions. How does it do that? Can I just give colors for getting work or the they get it from the fossil right through reflection, which is the actual colour. Doesn't work, it might be, not be the actual colour, but light reflection gives the actual colour. The smallest dinosaur was a reactor. Now, this is not a dinosaur, it's a pedrosaur. Mecoreactor, found, found in equatorial China. That means, so in the middle. Mikoraptor had four wings. It was a bird, but it was actually a bird. It's called, they were called Petrosaur. 
Well, that's the smallest dinosaur I've ever found. Mikuriaptor is one of the smallest. It was about the size, for example, about the size of about the size of this book. Mikuriaptor is very small. Now I will give you a picture of it. Now this is Mikuriaptor. This little thingy is Mikuriaptor. There was been dinosaurs were all sometimes called Marasaurs or marine reptiles. There were lots of them, like Elimosaurus, Ludipudum, mm -hmm. which was the biggest of all dinosaurs. The biggest of all of the things. All of the things that's living on Earth now is Ludipudum. It lives in the sea. So it's not a dinosaur, it's a morosaur. It's a mosaur. In the Jurassic period, which is in the Masonic era. Urupurudon and, and the rest. There were so many of them living in the sea, eating fish, eating fish as well as plants. That's the list of all them which eat, eat Theosaurus. It's Theosaurus is not is quite small but intelligent has good night vision can leap up they they can last without oxygen for quite a long time they're they eat fish so they have to go up to breathe but they can stay in the water for as long as they want it's so frustrating that they can stay the water as long as they want. They can go for there when they want. But they're gonna watch out for our sharks. Where is time sharks? There were lots of types of sharks. There was a really great white shark, which is very powerful. Uh, it's not one of the oldest living creatures actually. Bacteria is. Bacteria is the oldest living thing. And the sharks is the the fourth oldest. The other things are you know, trilobites, squids, algae. Well, algae is part of the bacteria. Well, algae live the same kind of bacteria. Actually, the oldest thing was actually land and, you know, land, lava on the atmosphere. When dinosaurs go extinct is a very, very, very curious question. But most people think that an asteroid hitted the volcano in the fridge, putting thousands of carbon dioxide into the air, but they thought it was putting a lot of carbon dioxide in the air. There was... There was 100 times more gas in the carbon dioxide there was then. Well, the gas reached the carbon dioxide and then the carbon dioxide became in the control of the of the gas and dust that blotted out the sunlight. Yes, yes, sunlight can go past, but not enough that the dinosaur need. So one part of the food web broken, then the other, and the food web starts to get down, 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 down until, until the produce, then the producers and secondary, the primary things, secondary, the carnivores, the carnivores, and vegetarian, the herbivores, everything came extinct. Well, not everything. Little things like mammals, plants, some, some very rarely, very rarely trees, trees died and uh, came to the Cosonic era. It's the era after the Masonic era when, when the dinosaurs ruled. If dinosaurs still had been alive, it would rule the world for hundreds of years. It's going to be the biggest thing. It's going to be ferocious. It's 
thing that we've ever seen. We've okay. actually seen them with our eyes. Okay. The biggest thing, they're the ferocious. Now we're going to talk about which strange with large money too. Tell me it's going to be Spinosaurus. A 135 foot is the largest carnivore kind of in the world. It can eat approximately about half this house in one go. Half of a half of a flat in one go. Which is pretty much. Dinosaurs uh, compared to Spinosaurus are tiny. T Rex was T Rex was forty feet. Gargodontus was 50 feet. Spinosaurus is 135 feet. T Rex, so T Rex was no much against a Spinosaurus. Well, one row would work that out. One, the one human could swore a Spinosaurus would wipe it out. But Allosaurus would have some defense. It is quick speed of our alliteration. It, but Allosaurus sometimes win. Allosaurus is quite a large dinosaur. It can think very quickly, just as quickly as a computer. A little bit slower than a computer. It is very fast. Well, Spinosaurus is a little bit cold, one would it, but a little bit. Cold. Oh, would it, but it keeps the blood warm and keeps the temperature that it needs to need by itself. Also, I just need that because it can keep its temperature by its own. Allosaurus can flex its mouth. Its mouth is quite very flexible. Although it has a big grip right, it can make it as tall as... It can make it as tall as... This room, taller than this. You make it the size of this room, right here, from here to there. Spinosaurus could make a silver that big, but he doesn't literally do that. Spinosaurus does that whenever it wants. Spinosaurus does literally do that. It makes it uh, about half of this size. So Allosaurus can make one of the big spikes. Allosaurus has humorously a lot of grip. It's still like teeth. It's about the size of that poster. It's about the size of that poster. And like if I just come here, it's like this to this big. And it's actual shape is like this. So about quite curved. To the back and sometimes the front. But that's, the front is very rare and not, not very necessary. But Spinosaurus is quite, it's quite a clever dinosaur. Like when he grabs it, when he grabs it, it's unlikely that Predek low at all because just before he can do anything, it shakes his mouth, which which, which makes the eyes so cold, very dizzy, very dizzy, 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 just and it can't keep much control. Well, Alsaurus may, may try quite hard to keep its grip. You make a dice of like T Rex and try to keep its grip as Spinosaurus move do it like this. Ah, he's trying so much pressure that both of them get quite tired. So let go and then they're off. As soon as it, they quickly recharge and then spine source spine source is after it. Well then it pa but sometimes when it packs up into a herd, then spine 
then it's going to be challenging for Spinosaurus. Now, Allosaurus, Allosaurus and T Rex uh, some, sometimes don't harm each other. Sometimes they just ignore each other. Allosaurus is very similar to Allosaurus. They're the same size, the, the claws are the same shape, their teeth are the same shape, are the same amount of shape, their, their teeth are the same, are the same, 1.5 inches. For Allosaurus is 1.5.50 inches, 0.950 inches, which is quite big. A little bit bigger than Spanish, I mean, what do you call it, yeah, T-Rex. So, and then they pack up together and then you end up making the Spinosaurus a bit tired. Where the pack of Spinosaurus comes, then obviously there's nothing you can do. I'm going to say the first types types of the dinosaurs that found, but not the first one they ever found. Okay. But you know, with the first Spinosaur found, found by Mr. William Walker. Mr. William Walker didn't find all of it, he found the large claw blow. And then a team of a team of scientists from the Natural History Museum, which I'm going to be visiting soon in England, set from there to find to find it. And what they found was one of the most amazing discoveries. Like, like Kain was had a long shaped snout, many of them. Baryonyx snout was long. And it was incredibly similar to a crocodile's. It had, it had a short spine. And it's a huge claw bone. It's about Tuta, which is about just one more inch bigger than Allosaurus's tooth, which is incredibly, incredibly big. Oh, it's big and it's immensely sharp. Was, if he was actually alive, it would dig in. It could. It could scratch metal and dig into metal. And dig into metal. It wouldn't do much harm to that. Now, carnivores are carnivores. Now, we're trying to explain the difference about nocturnal, cannibal, carnivores, herbivores, and omnivores. I'm doing much nocturnal. Now, cannibals are mainly carnivores and the cannibals. As well as they eat, as well as they are scavengers, which I'm going to explain about anyway. Cannibals eat the, the, eat the same type from, but only from another family. It's the same type, like sometimes lions battle each other and keep them around like sometimes they make them die somewhere or eat a bit of flesh, like sometimes lions are cannibals.